Elevated Skin Temperature Screening Mode Troubleshooting Guide. Always try these five things first to overcome some of the common problems that you might face. These five things solve the majority of customers' common problems in EST screening mode in the EXX series and T series cameras. Factory default settings. Make sure to clean any dirty or greasy lens. Focusing issues. Non uniformity correction or nuke. And also upgrading camera firmware. These are some of the things we're going to talk about as we move forward. Number one, resetting the camera to factory default settings sometimes solves a lot of the problems that you can encounter using a particular camera over a period of time. We're going to walk through that reset process and you can see how easy it is. Notice this setting will affect all camera settings, including the regional settings that will need to be re-entered after you reset the camera to factory default settings. First, you click settings. Then click device settings from the touchscreen menu. Then reset options. Click reset device settings to factory default to start the process. After you confirm it on the next screen with the reset button, the camera will restart after factory defaults are restored. Number two, always make sure to remove any dirt or dust or grease or anything on your lens. Uh, any foreign materials on the camera lens will negatively impact focus and degrade temperature measurements, making them less reliable. Number three, focus. Accuracy of temperature measurements will be negatively impacted by out of focus images. You have two choices. You can use manual focus indicated at the top uh, simply by turning the lens housing until the proper focus is obtained. Further, you could use the autofocus, which is activated by pressing the button on the front of this camera. Keep in mind, for autofocus to work properly, the target should have good thermal contrast, which means a distinct difference between warm and cool objects in the scene. Number four, non-uniformity correction. While the camera does perform this process on its own, sometimes you might want to be able to manually use the nuke function before measuring an important temperature or capturing a critical image. This is going to ensure you that you get the best accuracy. All you need to do is simply hold down the play button for one full second. Number five, firmware upgrade. It is important to note that we always recommend you upgrade to the most recent firmware version for the T-Series and EXX series camera. You'll note down at the bottom right here, this is where we find the latest firmware for EXX and T-Series cameras at the FLIRCUSTHELP.COM website. This is where we go first. We get to the website, we choose our product firmware. On the next page right here, you can see we select the product type. That's the second box right here, IR cameras, handheld. And then we select camera model, and I've just chosen the T-Series camera for this example. And then we click search over here on the right. This will bring us to this link right here, which will, as it says right here, get more information about the download. And this brings us to this page here where we can actually download the zip file. For further resources, please go to fleer.custhelp.com 